Hey guys, what's up? It's JR Cuber, and in this video, we have another unboxing from the cubicle.us. As per usual at this point, I have no idea what's in here, so let's go ahead and open it up and check it out. Alright, so it looks like we've got a 3x3 and a 2x2, and another one of these uh, transparent stands. So let's go ahead and see what these puzzles are. Okay, so it looks like it's written on the box. This one is the Warrior W. Okay, and this is the Goguan 2x2. I haven't heard anything about a Warrior W 3x3, so um, I guess we'll go ahead and check this one out first. All right, so let's go ahead and open it up. Obviously, this is a stickerless puzzle. Uh, the stickerless shades are pretty bright. Actually, the sides feel kind of like it has, they have a matte finish. The sides actually kind of have a matte finish on them. And the colors, I'm not a big fan of the colors. They just look strange to me. Uh, for some reason, they just look a bit off. Anyway, this is, oh, I guess this is a chi puzzle. Anyway, let's go ahead and do first turns. First impressions, it feels a little bit cheap, honestly. Like, I can hear a lot of spring noise. And the plastic feels really kind of, yeah, just kind of a cheaper plastic. I don't know how much this cube costs. First impressions of the turning, I actually kind of like it. Like, it's a little bit heavier. There's some more resistance in the turns. Although that spring noise is really annoying. Let's go ahead and take a look at the mechanism. Yeah, it looks like it's basically just, um, you know, a standard kind of uh, uh, Yuxiao mech. These are some very basic pieces, and they look pretty similar to a lot of stuff that we've seen uh, recently, so... Uh, yeah, nothing too special about the pieces, but something else I noticed is that they were completely closed in, which actually makes the puzzle feel very blocky. It's not quite so airy. Uh, the sound also is extremely similar to the Aolong, which I actually, you know, really like. The, it actually feels kind of similar to an Aolong. At this point, I would say that my main is the Valk M, but... The Aolong is still one of my favorite cubes, although my Aolong has kind of gotten a little bit too old. But this cube feels really nice and really similar to it. I still like the Aolong V2 feeling um, just a little bit better, at least when it was, you know, in its prime, I guess. Um, this feels nice, though. I'm actually a fan of this cube. I don't know how I feel about the matte finish on the stickerless pieces. Uh, it feels almost a little bit more like a toy uh, than an actual like speed cube. Uh, I don't know, it's it's really subtle, but it's just something I kind of picked up on. Um, I don't think it's like a deal breaker or anything. The puzzle is still really good, but I definitely wouldn't mind having a stickered version of this puzzle. Uh, anyway, that is the Warrior W 3x3, which I guess is from Chi. I haven't seen this logo before, so yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead and move on to the Goguan 2x2. All right. I don't know who designed it or anything like that, but um, let's go ahead and check it out. I'm not a big 2x2 two two guy. I, I don't really, um, you know, do 2x2 two two as an event. So I'm definitely not too knowledgeable on all things 2x2, two two, but uh, we'll go ahead and give this cube a shot. Um, first of all, first turns. Oh. Oh, man. All the pieces are like... It feels like it can't keep a cube shape at all. It feels super loose and it's just like everything is just kind of morphing and jumbling around. It reminds me of the Wit 2 V2. Oh, I'm, I'm not a fan of that at all. Yeah, it feels really clacky. You can kind of hear it too. It just sounds clacky and just like cheap almost. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this 2x2. Two 2x2s two. Um, two these days have been pretty good at staying pretty much totally stable. But this cube is just, maybe it's just too loose. Like, it could just be looseness, but it feels like there's just an overall instability. Let's go ahead and do a solve. Ah, yeah. Let's try some corner cutting, I guess. Um, what did I do? Oh man, um, <laughs> I got the middle layer out of alignment. That's definitely not a good sign. Um, yeah, so now these two layers are stuck. Gosh. Um, yeah, see how the screw's not in the middle? 
I don't know how to fix that. I guess just maybe force it a bit. Okay. Nope, I don't... Nope, now that piece is like halfway popped out. Okay, so I can get like one axis to work, but... I can't... Oh, did I fix it? Oh, yay, I fixed it. Okay, I don't know what happened there, but I guess the middle layer got out of alignment somehow, even though I just corner cut it. Um, so I'm not going to try that again. That's definitely not a good sign. So overall first impressions of this 2x2, I'm really not impressed. That alignment issue seems like that could definitely be a recurring issue. Hopefully it's something that could go away just by tightening the puzzle a bit and setting it up properly, uh, but it doesn't feel like it. Overall it feels like a very unstable, uh, poorly made puzzle, which is uh, kind of unfortunate. So, so overall I'd say probably stay away from this one. Um, not a great first impression at all. Anyway. Uh, that's all for the unboxing of these two puzzles. Uh, I did really like this 3x3 though, so uh, I don't know when it'll be up on the cubicle. I haven't seen it recently, uh, but maybe it just got put up or something. Anyway, I will put the links uh, to both of these puzzles in the description as always. Uh, overall, I would say uh, for recommendations, yes on this one, no on this one. That's of course just a first impressions. Uh, I'll you know look into the, these puzzles a little bit more. I don't know if I'll be reviewing them, maybe this 3x3. Uh, I've got a lot of reviews that I want to make uh, and a lot of stuff I want to get caught up on so I will be posting a GAN 356 air review soon uh, and after that some more 3x3 reviews as well as some other puzzles so uh, look forward to that anyways that's all I've got to say for the Goguan 2x2 and the Warrior W Chi 3x3 uh, anyways thanks to the cubicle for making this video possible anyways if you guys like this video give it a like and if you haven't already done so like my Facebook page follow me on Instagram and Twitter support me on Patreon and of course subscribe Thanks for watching guys, bye.